Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with David Joyner, and we are in something called The Pulse, which is a social media command center. What What is all this with all these screens behind us? Yeah, so th this is pretty cool. This is um, something new that HP is doing uh, just recently. HP Autonomy, we're partnering up with Omnicom and their digital uh, agencies, um, you know, uh, Fleischmann and Critical Mass. And what we're doing here is we're keeping track of what's going on actually in this uh, event. We're taking everything that's going on in social media, that's the blogosphere, um, that's on Twitter, that's on uh, Facebook, that's what's happening in the mainstream news. Uh, we're feeding all of that into the autonomy software. And from that, um, we're actually creating a bunch of uh, screens and graphics and images and analytics on top of that so that we can understand what's actually going on uh, during the show. So, so what kind of insights are possible from, from this data that you're collecting? Yeah, so it's, it's pretty fascinating because we see, um, obviously, there's a lot of enthusiasm. So we're seeing a lot of positive sentiment about some of the um, announces and launches. Um, some of it is stuff that you might expect to see, uh, right? So when, you know, Meg's doing her um, actual keynote, right? It was pretty cool. We saw like a big spike. Um, but we did have something funny because the couple people didn't actually see Meg's keynote. They're sitting back here in the command center and they see this big thing comes up saying bacon. And they are immediately looking around saying, do we have a problem with the software? Why is, you know, what's going on with this bacon? Why is it appearing? And it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it turns out, you know, Kevin Bacon was part of uh, the keynote speech, right? We're, so, we're all now one degree away. Yeah, one degree away, right? So we're, we're seeing those types of things. Um, but the important part here is we're forming an understanding of what's going on and then we're making it actionable, right? So that's where, you know, our, our, our partners um, are coming in because they, they've got a team of creatives here that are taking the data that the computer's showing, right, in an automated fashion. And they're turning that into some really cool infographics that we're using throughout the show, right, that we're publishing out to the web. So we're synthesizing some of this analytics that we're doing automatically and turning it into a richer, even uh uh, more creative um, output that, w that we can use throughout so, the show. So this kind of goes beyond um, the the traditional uh, social media measurement of, you know, do people like us and how many people like us uh, that, that you tend to see in social media measurement tools. This sounds like it's um, a lot more actionable, but what kinds of actions could you take with the data? Yeah, so we've got a couple of uh, real world examples. Um, we've talked, there's been a lot of talk of the show about NASCAR and how NASCAR is using it to enhance their fan experience. Um, in the NASCAR case, right, they're watching what's going on during the races and then they're able to make real time decisions for their broadcast partners, for their track partners about things that are actually going on. Um, we've got airlines uh, that can use this to make actual uh, anything from customer uh, service request, right? So when there's a flight delayed and someone tweets about it, uh, they can actually detect that that someone's frustrated and they can reach out to that person, right? Through like a social channel. And then we've also got some revenue opportunities that we're seeing too, where, you know, it may be that someone, an airline um, has someone who's following them who's a big fan of Formula One and there's a Formula One race that's happening, you know, at the end of the month in London. And so the airline can craft a personalized offer for that person right? And then make that offer to them through their preferred channel of choice, which might happen to be social media. So, so this could integrate all of those disparate pieces and actually make sense of them? Yeah, that's exactly what it does, right? So our core technology is idle. It provides an operating layer that connects to the various types of data, social data, email data, et cetera. And that's the common, idle's the common piece that we're able to drive the analytics and drive applications like command centers. And so the, the actual uh, product is Explore Cloud. And is that something that requires um, an Autonomy Idle license separate from Explore Cloud or is it all is it all packaged together? Yeah, so that's so that's what's really cool, right? So the way that we the way that we go to market with Idle, right, is if you're a customer, you can purchase Idle and you can build your own applications on top of it if that's what you want. Or you can take one of our prepackaged solutions, something like Autonomy uh, Explore, right? And you can use that to jumpstart uh, your initiative. Or you can actually go to all the way something to the to the extent of Explore Cloud, where it includes everything, right? We're managing all the data feeds that are coming in for you. We're managing the infrastructure so it's completely hosted. So literally all you have to buy are just some licenses and you can log in and start using it. So this is a completely like software as a service solution? Absolutely. Software is, that's exactly what Explore Cloud is. And has pricing been announced yet? No, we haven't. All right, fair enough. Yeah. All right, well, thanks. Yep, thank you.